All right, what's up, my Ruby crew? We're back with Volume Four, Chapter Ten, Kuro Yuri, which I'm super excited about because they just mentioned this last episode. So now I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some deep stuff with Ren and Nora, because I'm guessing that's where they're from. Um, just in the last episode, we ended up seeing Yang getting a little bit of her training back with Tai, her getting a little bit more comfortable with the cybernetic arm that she got from Atlas and General Ironwood, um, Wai Shni. It looks like she might escape from her house. I don't know with the help of the Butler. Um, Klein and you know she's she's able to use her wife's no, her wife's her Shni semblance amazingly now that she's able to summon the whole knight instead of just the sword in the arm and we ended up getting this Elia the spy with Blake um Sun might be dead I don't know hopefully not because I love Sun he's annoying but he's super funny and I, I love the dude and um then we got this Ren and Nora stuff about Kuro Yuri uh, Ren not wanting to go back there and I'm guessing this is what this episode is going to be. We're going to get a little bit more backstory to Ren and Nora in their childhood. Because that's what I'm thats what i guessing. This is where they grew up. Grew up in, right? You know, because I don't think... Because they both mentioned a long time ago that they don't have parents. So there's no one to go back to. So I'm guessing they're they are pretty much like family to each other. And, um, and yeah. Let's find out what Kuro Yuri is about, man. Super excited for it. Volume 5, we're almost here, baby. Fix this screen. <laughs> oh my god, I love this theme. And don't worry guys, like I said in the last episode, OST reactions will happen. Once I'm done with volume 5. Because then with volume 6, I just one episode a week, and during that whole week, I can just record, um, um, I can just record OST reactions. Surprisingly, we haven't got Adam yet. Adam Torres. Or Salem and her crew. I'm guessing we're gonna wait until the finale for them. Let's just live day by day. Past can't hold us down, we must break free. I can't wait for that. Have Team Ruby back, oh my god. Now let me get my notes, cause I'm, this is gonna be a deep episode, I can feel it already. Oh, we're, by, we're going right back with Oscar, my brother. Oh, Oscar's leaving. He finally gave in. Okay, Oscar. That's a big step for a young boy. I'm sorry. You know, the weirdest part is how it feels. Leaving home is crazy. Going to the city is crazy. Everything but it feels right. Me is completely crazy. But it doesn't feel crazy anymore. It feels like I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Well, I do you believe in destiny? No. I gotta stop using pure quotes, man. Or else I'm gonna might get wrecked once again. Whatever weird magic this is doesn't come with an infinite supply of money. I'm afraid you'll have to solve this one on your own. Be on your guard. What do you mean? Here. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my, yo, it's freaking Hazel, bro. Don't let 
let such a small obstacle block your path. Oh my Man. god. He's heading the same way. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who should not be taken lightly. Man, this music, the sound effects, damn. It's a perfect time to be watching this in October, Halloween month. Oh, man. Come on. Damn, you could just feel the darkness, death, despair, the cries, the shouts, the pain. Any of these places look like a pharmacy? Yo, anybody that's seen Ghost Avengers, you already know that's what they say. Hard to tell. <laughs> oh man. Ren really didn't want to come here, did he? Yeah, I can see why. Didn't seem so. Do you know why? I think I have a pretty good idea. Oh, is John gonna tell the story? Oh hell no, there's somebody here. Oh, Hell, hell no. Oh, we're gonna get a story. Oh my God, look at young Rin. <laughs> Why, hello, little light. Are we trying to catch a fish? I found the flower on the water. Oh, I see. Can we take it home and plant it in the garden? Oh, and he has an accent? Sweetheart. That flower lives here. But I'll tell you what you can do. Take this Leon and go find something nice for your father's return. He's been hunting for quite some time. I bet the journey's been very tiring, don't you? Yes. Do you think you'll know what he wants? I think he wants a water flower in the garden. <laughs> Why did you have to inherit my sex? <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn, look at Ren. Looking all cute and shit. You guys think that's his mom? Similar eye color, it has to be the mama. <laughs> what can I buy with this? <laughs> well, something just your size. Sake, please. Sake. All for the dad. Mm. Well, of course they're not gonna sell sake to little Ren. Hey, hope I hear a little <laughs> laugh that I can remember. Oh thief. snap! Oh look, it's all moldy. I think she got it from the trash. Let me see. Yo, don't laugh at Nora, you pieces of. Good. Bite that motherfucker. <laughs> Poor Nora. Oh what snap, is look at happening him. here. Do you wish to run with the rest of them? Sometimes the worst action to take is taking no action at all. 
Yo, that's a good life lesson right there. I need to speak with the mayor. Nothing. We should get back to Crow. I feel like this episode's gonna wreck me also. <laughs> it's far off. I know. What the but Ren and Nora are still out there. Oh yeah, shit. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, this is all my fault. Don't do this. I should have never dragged you guys into this. You didn't drag us in. We wanted to come. They wanted to come, Ruby. But yep. You didn't know about Tyrion, about... Ruby. We lost... We lost Pyrrha. You lost her, too. And Penny. And your team. And, in a way, your sister. But you're still yeah. here. Despite everything you've lost, and everything you could still lose, you chose... To come out here because you felt like you could Stop make a man. difference. You didn't drag us along. You gave us the courage to follow you. Oh snap, attacked by the Grim. Lee! On! What are you doing? We need to hurry! We can go to the safe house. No. I saw the beast. We need a huntsman. And you two need to leave. What? Damn, what is it? Beowulf. Nevermore. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Mother? What? Where's Mother? What's going on? Where is Mother? Oh my Listen God, me, what son. the fuck is that? You have to be brave now. Do you understand? No, please, please, I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Take action, son. God damn. Oh man, that's deep. It almost got me. Almost got me. My day's gonna see Nora. Yep, never more. Take action, Bren. 
Take action. Man. Oh snap, his aura. Hey. We have to be brave. Oh, that's the aura, right? Aura passed to her now? Why oh, that's the semblance? Yeah, I think it's a semblance. It doesn't sense them. Now they're back. Oh, it's a semblance. Never get the easy path. Do no, we? it's good. Easy's no fun anyway. You okay? Hmm. And you? I've got you here, don't I? Come on. There's more than one way up a mountain. Help a symbol. Hey, what's wrong? This is the symbol for Xion Village. Xion? But that's. That's the village where we found the huntsman. It's weeks away from here. Survivors? Red? Wait! What is it? Grave? What is that? Oh, it was a footprint. The freaking horse dude. No. Oh my god, that scream. Guys, I just gotta write this. 
Oh man, that is scary, man. That's scary. It's such an emotional episode. It almost got me. Almost got me. That was beautiful, cute. Such an amazing man. Um. All right, so we saw in the beginning, Oscar met Hazel, and Hazel's on his way to the same place that Oscar was going. So, you know, Hazel's Hazel's on the hunt, and we saw there that Ospin said someone who should not be taken lightly. So Ospin's fought him before. Or at least seen what Hazel's capable of. So that's definitely one thing to look out for from the future when Hazel's on the loose. Um, and then we get this little story right here with my boy Lee Ren, Little Ren, a little cute guy with his pink eyes, and man Nora, who who was a poor orphan, I'm guessing, in the city. And um, you know, obviously Ren felt bad for her that she was getting picked on, but. You know, the father said sometimes the best thing, best action to take is no action at all. Which is what the father did right there. You know, he didn't scream at any of them. Tell me, yo, what, what the hell are you doing? Or anything. He's just like, you know, they just ended up running away by themselves because the kids were ashamed that they even did it. <clears throat> and then um, we got that little nice piece of dialogue right there between Ruby Rose and John. Ruby apologizing to John. And to everybody for bringing them into this. But like John said. Ruby didn't force them, force this upon them. They're all friends. They care about each other. They love each other. If something would happen. They would cry for each other. But um, like you said. You gave us the courage to follow you. Because Ruby's a leader man. She's the youngest one. But she's a leader. She understands what her purpose is in this world as a huntress. And to protect everybody in the world of Remnant. And you know John. Nora and Ren. You know, they follow her example. They like her. They feel like she's the person to lead them in this team. Um, you know, then we get to this, um, such a sad, tragic scene, man, with Ren and his father and mother. <clears throat> father comes busting through the door. You know, obviously, just with the sound, you already know. Creatures of Grim are here. Um, and we know that from a couple episodes ago also where Ren revealed that the, the city got attacked by him. My creatures are grim. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the part that almost got me is like when the father's right there and, and he tells Ren, yo, your mother and I love you. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. We're going to see the death. And, you know, we didn't get to see it, but obviously we know what happens. He's shooting arrows at that new grim creature that we haven't seen or some type of devil rider or something because he's in a horse. We, we don't get to see him. It's just a silhouette thing. And um, that was the footprint from a couple episodes ago where I said, is that a footprint? That's the footprint. That's the damn horse walking. And um, then we get um, Ren's aura coming through. So I'm guessing his semblance also. Um, making him disappear so that the creatures of Grimm don't notice him or something or... I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's working. But then he passes that on to Nora also and protects her. And from that day on, man, they just been together. Best friends. Pretty much brother and sister. Which is why... All the way back in what? Volume 2? Volume 1? We, when they were talking about... When John was asking... Oh, right before Dance Dance Infiltration, I think. John was asking... Um, Ren for advice on how to... um. You know, how to spit game on Pira. And, you know, John thought Ren and Nora were something. They, they had something, but they weren't. I'm like, oh, no, we're not. We're not together together. That dialogue. Um, and, yeah. Then, right now, with the cave, they see the symbol of Shion Village, which is weird to Ren. And, obviously, it is weird because it's, the way I said, what? It's weeks away from here. So, I'm guessing, I don't know. Maybe they just collect weapons that they kill. And bring it back into this cave or something. I don't know what this cave is. Maybe it's just a big graveyard for warriors. And we saw the arrow there that connected obviously with Ren. Because that's the same arrow that his father was using. Or similar type of arrow. And then at the end of the episode we get the footprint again. The beast is back. is walking through the woods. And you know you can sense the trepidation and fear in Ren's voice. Where he's like oh no. And you know Nora knows what's coming next. They have to battle this thing. Not only f to protect. Um, whichever way they're heading. Which is pretty much I think. The same way where Ruby and John is. But also for closure. 
for Ren because obviously he feels a lot of pain from his parents dying because of the creatures of Grimm. And I'm most likely guessing here that he's he hasn't seen this creature of Grimm since that day, right? Um, except for the Nevermores, he's seen Nevermores again, but this type of creature he hasn't seen it since that day happened. And I'm guessing, you know, this is going to be closure for him. He's probably going to get emotional, as you know, it's normal. It would happen. And yeah, man, I'm super excited. Two more episodes to go to volume four. Such an amazing volume, man. I I did not expect this. And yeah, subscribe, like, share, and comment as always. And we just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Volume six, here we come, baby. Hype is real.